Held captive in a German prisoner of war camp during World War II, East Tennessee soldier Master Sergeant Roddy Edmonds made a righteous life and death choice. Two days after they were there, uh, they sent orders to my father and announced over the loudspeaker that the following morning they just wanted the Jewish men to fall out, just the Jews, uh, no one else. And Dad turned to his men and he said, we're not doing that. Tomorrow morning we all fall out. That's what they did. Uh, Major Ziegman, who was a part of the high command, who was just there to take the Jews away, he stormed over to my father. He, he, he couldn't believe his eyes. All the Americans were standing together, nearly 1,300 soldiers in sharp formation. He was enraged. He was angered. He stormed over to my father and got up in his face. He said, you can't all be Jews. My father simply replied, we're all Jews here. Well, that made him even more angry. And so uh, he pulled his revolver and he stuck it to my dad's forehead. And he said, Sergeant, one last chance. You will order the Jews to step forward or I will shoot you right now. The German officer backed down. Master Sergeant Edmonds saved almost 200 American Jews from an uncertain fate, but his story would go untold for decades. What was your first inkling about your father's heroism? I had a spark of interest in Dad's diary. It really started with Dad's diary. The diary led to an internet search and then to a New Yorker named Lester Tanner. The Jewish American POW served as a central witness, mentioning in a newspaper interview back in 2008 that Master Sergeant Roddy Edmonds saved his life. I just said in, in one sentence uh, that Master Sergeant Roddy Edmonds defied the Nazis uh, in a POW camp and saved 200 Jewish prisoners, including my own life. Why did it take so long for this story to come out? Why was it not talked about for so long? Well, you're right. It should have come out right after the war. But uh, if you speak to POWs, they were not talking about the war once they got home. They were engaged in uh, getting back to work or school. And so it was never reported to the Army as it should have been. The story of Roddy Edmond started here across the river in South Knoxville. His shortcut to Knoxville High included running across a train trestle from his home in the Vestal community. The faithful Christian was just 26 when he spoke those famous words, we are all Jews here. But he died in 1985 with no formal recognition of his actions. If a person saves one life, it is as if they've saved an entire world. On January 27, 2016, then President Obama help bestow the highest award non-Jews can receive from the state of Israel for risking their own lives to save Jews during the Holocaust. It came 71 years to the day after the defiant heroics of Master Sergeant Edmonds inside that German POW camp. He's the, only the fifth American to receive righteous among the nations. He's the first U.S. soldier to receive it. Uh, the award for us is uh, one of the highest, if not the highest, awards he can receive here this side of eternity. And so I'm very proud of Dad and uh, didn't know any of this. Uh, my dad never spoke of it. He never shared with my mom even. Uh, so it's, it's just been an incredible discovery and blessing, not only for me, but, but for the world. A forthcoming book about Master Sergeant Edmonds, authored by his son, is titled No Surrender. Fellow soldier Lester Tanner wrote this about the hero he credits with saving his life and the lives of almost 200 other Jewish soldiers. Tell his story as often as you can to the people of Tennessee and the world. Honor Roddy as the example of Tennessean men of America's greatest generation who literally saved the world in 1941 to 1945. That book about Master Sergeant Edmonds is due out this fall. Both Tennessee senators have nominated him for the Congressional Gold Medal. The military is still considering Master Sergeant Edmonds for its highest award for valor 